my name is Gabe Zolna. As many of you may remember, on December 15, 2011, an unmanned stealth drone uh, flying over uh, Iran was intercepted. And it was intercepted through technology. Apparently, uh, the Iranians were able to decode the instructions required to take control of the drone. What's interesting is in reading what I've been able to ascertain to this point is that the drones are controlled through GPS coordinates and the messages that are sent to control the drones are encrypted. So I don't understand how they are able to take control of the drones unless somehow, some way, that information was made available to them so they could hack into and control the drones. What's also interesting is that uh, after the drone landed safely, the Americans knew exactly where it was, and uh, apparently they were uh, ordered to stand down. That's something that Obama seems to be good at, which is ordering the military to stand down. He did that in Benghazi, and he obviously did it back in Iran as well. And by standing down, he allowed the technology that probably cost the Americans hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars to develop. He allowed that technology to fall into the hands of the Iranians and their friends, which would include Russia and China. What's fascinating, though, is that um, why would he have done this? Why would he not have allowed a drone with a Hellfire missile to destroy that technology that was on the ground? Well, apparently, according to Fox News, what they've just released is that uh, Obama and his administration have been negotiating uh, with Iran for well over a year. And since that just came to light, we have no idea what those negotiations are all about. But apparently he was uh, concerned about uh, launching a strike and taking out that drone because that could have uh, harmed his negotiations. Well, is it better to give this technology to a country that's hostile towards America? And is it better to have them share that technology with the Russians and the Chinese? I don't think so. And I think it's also wrong if what they reported is true, which is that Obama has been negotiating through his administration with Iran without the American people being aware of that. He's made a mess of the entire Middle East. He's made a mess of Egypt. He's turned that over to the Brotherhood. He's made a mess of Libya. For all we know, the ambassador and those other three Americans were killed by RPGs that Obama had given him through his uh, Operation Fast and Furious on steroids, because that's really what it is. You know, he's armed Libya to take out Gaddafi, and now he's armed Syria to take out Sadat. And it just never seems to end. Well, hopefully it'll end at the end of this presidential election. We need a change, and if we don't get a change, I think we need to kiss America goodbye. Thanks.